It's Carter Sports back. And today, we finna talk about how USC been shining nationally lately. So let's go. And if you've been here before, can you please hit that like, please? And if you ain't subscribed, boy, you better subscribe. Trojan family, Trojan gang, fight on forever is in the building. Don't it feel good to be a USC Trojan right about now? In these times, ain't this last week it feel good to be a USC Trojan? I know we had a defect or two, but it's still all sunshines over here. We still feeling great at USC in this prestigious university. Keep signing keep hitting the front page in the news our boy c-dub you know i say kayla williams went number one in the draft and i'm a raider friend first and foremost but i most definitely gonna be rooting for them chicago bears second you know what i said i got to kayla that's why i got you know what i said went number one represented for usc brought that Heisman trophy home you know what i'm saying got that number one pick more accolades just to add to our prestigious university. You know what I'm talking about? It's SC. The president, El Presidente. You know what I'm saying? El Presidente. Number five got his Heisman Trophy back. So he should have never gave up. They would have had to come strong on that for me. But he was a man about it. He didn't cry about it. He fought on about it. You feel me? The definition of fight on is Reggie Bush. You know what I'm talking about? Fought for that Heisman Trophy for what, 13 years? Ain't no more fight on than that from El Presidente, Reggie Bush, another accolade we could put back on the shelf for our prestigious university. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? USC. Then our other brother, Amon St. Brown. Amon Ra St. Brown, right? Signed the biggest contract in the NFL right now for a wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? USC. The highest paid wide receiver in the NFL is a USC Trojan. And they gonna say, we ain't wide receiver you. What y'all talking about? We most definitely wide receiver you. Even in our down years, we flood the NFL with wide outs. What you mean? Lindsey Godley. The woman's basketball coach, she got her extension for the great job she doing at USC. Told that number one recruit class. Cause eh, told that number one recruiting, uh, recruiting class for the woman of Troy. And then they got the best player in the transfer quarter. Kiki, how you pronounce it? Aria Finn. I hope I didn't butcher her name, but I seen her play at Stanford. I seen her drop 40 in the tournament. Can't pronounce her name. I'm just gonna call her Kiki, but I seen her score 40 in the tournament. And she from LA, come on home. She was up there in the beautiful Bay Area. You know what I'm saying? I, you can't never knock nobody for going to Stanford. Great education, great place to live up there, up north. Shout out to Northern California. But she had to come back on home to SoCal. She from LA. So she see what's going on at USC. She like, before I go to the WNBA, I got to represent for the whole team. You know what I mean? And she, too, she, and she um, forming this dynamic duo with Juju. You know what I mean? They going to be like Kobe and Shaq in that thing. <laughs> know what I'm saying? So it's real good at USC right now and them women they impressing me too because i heard they finna grab somebody else in the trying for porter i think the point guard out of oregon state i seen her and uh kiki on a recruiting visit together they was vibing and they were vibing with juju and them like so it might be another trying for portal girl coming on to usc right 
won't be another one. So it's good to be a Trojan right now. It's good to be a Trojan right now. And shout out to Light the Torque Podcast. Man, they got the interview of the year so far. They got the interview of the year so far. Y'all ain't seen Light the Torque Podcast with um with Mama Casey. You know what I'm saying? With Mama Casey. That's the best interview this year so far for, for USC fans. If you a USC fan, you know about Mama Casey or not, check the Light the Torque podcast. I was crying, laughing the whole time. And she gave some very, very interesting nuggets in that video. Talk about recruiting, talk about how these schools be doing the recruiting, man. I ain't gonna say too much. Man, go watch that interview. Shout out to them over there. I don't normally shout out too many other channels, but that that interview was just that just capped off the great week to be a Trojan. That was just icing on the cake here. Mama Casey talk her stuff about her and Cam about USC and the recruit process. <laughs> Y'all go check that out. Y'all probably already had because we Trojan fans. I know we all tapped in, but if you ain't, go check that out. So it's been a great week to be a Trojan. So let's hopefully we can start the next week with a commitment. Hopefully about like Tuesday or something. You know what I'm saying? Cause Tyler Barron coming on Monday. Right? Tyler Barron coming on Monday. So hopefully, hopefully, we can get a commitment by Tuesday. Lock him down. You know what I'm saying? Lock him down. Don't let him leave. But until then, man, it's your boy Carter Sports and this wonderful week for USC. I just had to tap in with y'all to share these vibes, man. To share these vibes. People be trying to kill our vibe, right? People be trying to kill our USC vibe bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They try to kill our vibe bad, but I'm here to keep the vibe up. It's good to be a Trojan right now. I see like we probably been taking a couple hits. Y'all probably like what we doing in the portal. And I'm saying the same thing. Like we need to get that interior sold up. But when I just check the overall vibe at USC is great right now. And that just give me more confidence that we is going to get what we need in the portal. Because look what our women's do. They, they didn't nag the number one player to try for a portal. So let's go, man. It's USC. Carter Sports. 